Hello guys, hope you are doing fine and as always if you are new to my channel I would humbly request you to subscribe to my channel so that you will get all the new videos that I will be uploading on my channel which will be helpful for you in your future studies. Thanks. So the problem at our hand is a very unique problem. In this problem uh, the author is saying the man attempts to pull the log at sea by using the three ropes okay so he is trying to pull the log at sea by using these three ropes okay one two three you need to determine the direction theta okay this is the direction theta in which he should pull on his rope with a force of 80 pounds okay so what does he is telling you you need to calculate this direction theta and he is pulling on the rope with a force of 80 pounds which is this force is ad is 80 pounds okay so now he says that uh, and he exerts a maximum force on the log okay so when he says that uh, this guy when he is uh, applying a force 80 80 pounds you need to calculate this theta and this theta should be unique that the force in this uh, cable AC is a maximum okay so he exerts a maximum force on the log so we need to calculate uh, this force AC over here okay so first of all we must uh, by seeing this diagram we must basically make it more accurate by applying uh, the axis so we say this is going to be our x-axis and this force a b is lying on the x-axis this will be our y-axis and this force a d is making an angle theta and then from this uh, x-axis on which force a b is lying this uh, angle between force a b and force a c is 180 degrees okay so this is x-axis this is y-axis so we can easily deduce that uh, the angle between force AB and force AC is 150 so we can say and break it easily as 90 in the in the fourth quadrant and 150 minus 90 is going to give you 60 degrees this is a very important point now we will resolve these forces into the respective components okay so when we resolve this force AD we will get these components okay and uh, when we resolve uh, this force AC we will be getting these components okay this is the vertical component this is the horizontal component so when we apply sigma fx equal to 0 we will be getting what this force ab plus this force ad's x-axis component for our projection will be as we know force ad is 80 cos theta and what about uh, the other component it is this component which is force ac this component will be force AC sine 60 this is force AC sine 60 but uh, the direction is opposite to positive X so we have placed a minus sign now we apply Sigma F5 equal to 0 when we apply Sigma F5 equal to 0 this is our force 80 the vertical component will be 80 sine theta now what about this force AC uh, component so the force AC component on the Y axis will be force AC cos 60 but with a negative sign it must be equal to 0 so these are two very important equilibrium equations that we have developed from this two from these two free body diagrams okay now from equation 2 if we write we can simplify this equation 2 as force AC cos 60 equals to 80 sin theta just taking this minus force force AC cos 60 on the other side of the equation okay so we can further say that this force AC will be equals to uh, 80 divided by cos 60 will give you 160 sin theta okay so force AC comes out to be equals to 160 sin theta now the variable here is this theta and he is asking to you determine the direction theta in which he should pull on his rope with a force of 80 pound so that he exerts a maximum force on the log in order we need to have a maximum force on the log which is force AC now this equation force AC can only be, be maximized when this theta will be the maximum value so we assume that theta equals to 90 at theta equals to 90 the maximum force AC 
uh, own AC in this cable will be 160 pounds. Okay. So we have done half the problem. Now for the other part of the problem, we can again deduce that uh, this force AC cos 60 was equal to from 2 from equation 2 force AC cos 60 equals to 80 sin theta. So we are now willing to uh, simplify this equation. It will become force AC is equals to 80 sin theta over cos 60. This will become our equation 3. Okay. So remember that in this case, uh, you need to determine the direction in which he should pull on, pull in order to maximum the force in the rope attached to B. So now he is interested that uh, what is the maximum force in this cable AB, which is force AB. Before he calculated the maximum force AC. Now he is interested in this force AB and he is also saying that uh, uh, what is uh, he is saying that uh, in which he should pull in order to maximum for the determine the direction also. He is interested in the direction and that direction must be a function of the force AB must be maximum. So what should be that theta value and which unique value of theta in which we get the force AB to be maximum. Okay. So this is he asking in this problem. So force AC cos 60 is equals to 80 sin theta, force AC comes out to be equals to 80 sin theta over cos 60. Okay. So this equation 3 basically uh, we have formulated. Now you can say put equation 3 in 1. When we put this equation 3 in 1, so this one will be going into this one, this force AC. So over here instead of a force AC we will be putting this entire value. Okay, so now we say that force AB plus 80 cos theta is equal to force AC sin 60. This was equation 1. Now force AB plus 80 cos theta instead of FAC we put it 80 sin theta over cos 60 into sin 60. Now we can basically further simplify it by multiplying 80 sin 60 divided by cos 60 we will get 138.56 sin theta. And this 80 cos theta when goes on the other side it becomes minus 80 cos theta. This becomes our equation number 4. Now over here this is FAB but we want this FAB to maximum. The variable involved here is this theta. And for maximum conditions we can differentiate d by t theta of FAB equals to d by t theta of this entire equation. This one. Now when we differentiate it d by t theta of 138.6 sin theta becomes 138.6 cos theta. And uh, d by d theta of 80 cos theta becomes uh, 80 sin theta and you know for cos theta d by d theta of cos theta is minus sin theta. So minus minus will be plus 80 sin theta. Maximum condition you also know that this d a will be at d theta and the slope uh, over here will be equal to 0. So this becomes 0. So this entire equation becomes 138.6 cos theta plus 80 sin theta equal to 0. Now we can best basically take this 80 sin theta on the other side it becomes minus 80 sin theta equals to 138.6 cos theta and if we differentiate uh, if we sorry if we divide sin theta by cos theta we will be getting tangent theta and uh, what else we can say is that uh, 138.6 divided by minus 80 so it will be giving us tangent theta equals to minus 1.733 okay. So when we take the inverse of this the tangent theta theta equal to the inverse of this ang angle where this ratio it will become theta is equals to minus 60 okay now this is very important this theta equals to minus 60 and he is asking you that you want to maximize this force ab okay so once we calculate this theta equals to 60 minus 60 and if we put it in this equation of ours in this equation of ours you put the theta equals to minus 60 you will not get a maximum force okay you will not get a maximum force but uh, as you know this theta when we calculate it minus 60 is basically uh, the angle if you look at it it will be uh, this angle it will be this it will be this angle theta equals to it will be this angle minus 60 if you look at it this is going to be minus 60 okay this is going to be minus 60 and if we project it over here this angle will be you can say if we project it here this angle will be minus 60 this angle will be minus 60 okay so 
this angle is going to be minus 60 but we want our force to be from the positive x axis so we can say that uh, theta is equals to from 180 minus uh, this entire is 180 minus 60 so our angle will be 120 which is from the positive x axis so we will not take theta equals to minus 60 we will take theta equals to 120 and when you put this theta equals to 120 into this equation fab equals to 138.56 sine of 120 minus 80 cos of 120 we will be getting uh, the the maximum value of force ab which is is equal to 120 plus 40 equals to 160 pounds so always remember if you use this minus 60 you will be getting a magnitude of force ab equals to i guess 80 pounds so that is not he is asking in the question he says that he wants to max the maximum force generated in this uh, cable ab as a result of this force ad uh, when he is generating 80 pounds when the man is applying a force of 80 pounds at theta equals to 120 the force generated in the cable ab will be equals to 160 pounds so uh, you have to basically do and uh, uh, step by step to generate uh, the different uh, conditions he is asking for us okay so this was the problem at hand and uh, i have tried to explain it in step by step so that uh, you should be able to understand it clearly and i hope uh, you have understood it uh, and your concept is clear regarding uh, this tricky problem i thank you all and have a very good day